Institute of Geophysics uh, at the University of Texas, or UTIG, UTIG, is um, basically one of the world's leading uh, institutions for doing marine geology and geophysics. And so it's one of the few places we kind of have the, the critical mass, both of, of survey equipment uh, that we can put on small and medium-sized vessels, um, as well as, as marine technicians. And so it made sense to take this team of expertise and these equipment and use it to teach people to do what we do. And so we're able to uh, teach them uh, these, these techniques in a, that are really research techniques that you can't get in a normal classroom. We don't know of any other class in the country or the world that, that does exactly what we do. We take 12 students every year and we organize them into three teams. Um, those teams do everything together throughout the course, so they have to learn how to work together. And then they work as teams on the two vessels that we have. One of them is the, the Manta, and then we have a team that goes on a small vessel called the Itasca, which is a 22-foot vessel that can do multi-beam bathymetry and grab sampling and side scan sonar. We then have one team uh, stay home each day, whatever house we rent for the week and process the day's data. So each team gets a sense of what the different vessels are like, what the different techniques are like, and what it is uh, that about acquisition of the data that you have to pay attention to for later interpreting. Uh, after we get back from the field, I think everybody's pretty tired and expecting a break, but they don't get a break. They get one day off and then it's lectures again and right back into processing and interpreting the data. In this course we have a very good student to teacher ratio. We have 12 students, three instructors, and three technical staff. We're focused on learning and we're focused on safety. There's a pretty steep learning curve. They come in, some of them with no experience, and within a matter of days they are deploying gear, acquiring data, processing data, and looking at the results. And it all happens really, really quickly for them. We spent a lot of time in class talking about the equipment and the um, data you can acquire, but actually getting to be on the boat and doing it is really different. We got to interact with so, uh, such a wide variety of uh, you know, geophysical techniques, you know, the seismic, the multi-beam, the side scan, you know, the chirp, you, know, you, you learn that and then we got to also process the data, which is, I think, another huge benefit. The most valuable aspect of the course is really understanding the background of the science of, of acquisition and the method and what's going on to create the data that we look at every day. They get some incredible life experiences out of the course. You know, they get to go to see many of them for the first time. They get a sense of what it's like to try to collect your data regardless of conditions. Um, and they, they get to work together on all aspects of a project which is a life skill that you need no matter what field you go into. Together, all of us are bringing not only a great academic um, environment for these kids to be immersed in, but also a very practical, common sense one from the perspective of, of doing field work. I think this course um, not only prepared me well to move on in my academic and professional career, but helped me to make decisions about what I wanted to do uh, with my career. Whether they decide to go into industry, a lot of them go immediately into an industry job. And if they're interviewing and there are 20 applicants for a job and they're the one that has taken a field course and has field experience, then they stand out in a job interview and they're going to have a leg up. I think in the future um, we're thinking of maybe getting the smaller boat to be slightly larger and be able to take a, f a few more students that way, uh, possibly reorganizing just a little bit uh, so that we either have more teams or each team is a little bit larger. Uh, because we know we're missing a lot of students there. There's a, we have waiting lists, we can't take everybody off the waiting list. And so that, that's a major effort for, our, for us in our fundraising for, uh, for uh, trying to get a, a bigger small boat so that we can fit more people on it. Yeah, I think it's going to grow and I think it's going to move ahead and I think it's a really exciting course both for us as teachers and for the students who take it.